There we go. So I usually say this for P2000 plus, right? Usually say this for P2000 plus, but this, this is a dope, dope time, a beautiful time in, um, in a lot of people's journey and a lot of people's career. So let me go ahead and pick it up, pull it up. Okay, cool. So just a couple of things and we're going to get straight to it because it's a long, it's a long training. I don't want to pass an hour or right? I really want to get this done about the next 45 minutes to an hour. Right. So P2 plus training, right. Leadership. It's all on leadership because you'll hit a certain level. You hit a certain rank in, in, in the business. And it's dope to figure this rank out for, for yourself because it's a lot earlier than you think you hit a certain rank. And what, 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 what tends to happen is you f the, the focus on new ways to prospect, new ways to, you know, close and new ways to that cease to be uh, like your dominating thought. And your most dominating thought becomes leadership, right? Becoming the best leader you can possibly be, right? And that's what this, this training is more geared towards, just becoming the best leader that you can possibly be. All right, so let me go ahead and close this. Let me open up the chat box just to make sure we got some solid uh, stuff going on. There we go. Close that, open the chat box. There we go. So P2 plus training. So the first thing you wanna do is, you need, you need to do is you need to make sure the entire team is building the way you need them to build, right? And it, it's not to put things in like a selfish perspective. You're not anybody's boss. You're not anybody's manager, right? But the way I say, the, the reason why I say you need to make sure your team is building the way you need, they need to, you need them to is because everyone needs to be doing what they're best at. Plain and simple. Everybody does exactly what they are best at. Everybody does a little bit of everything, but you, you specialize in what it is you are best at, right? And you surround yourself with your weaknesses until you don't have very many, right? Very simple. Right. So make sure the entire team is building where you need them. So, so I broke it down to a couple categories. So relationships, promotion, uh, problem solving and leadership, relationships, promotion, problem solving and leadership. Right. You should be speaking to all up, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, up and coming individuals within your organization. You need to be speaking to all up and coming individuals within your organization. If you're not I don't care if they're not your personals. You need to touch base. You need to touch base with the, with the people who are building within your organization because this is your lifeline. These are the people who are pumping in volume. These are the people who run with or without you, right? So imagine where they would be if you just helped them out, right? So now that you have a team, right? Now you have a team, your P150, your P6, your P1, your P2, whatever. A couple of things you wanna focus on. Number one, you never stop recruiting. Never, ever, ever stop recruiting. If you ever feel like your business isn't moving, recruit, recruit more. If you, ever, if you ever feel like somebody in your team is listening, recruit more people, replace that, replace that bad energy or anything like that. If you ever feel like there's no momentum in your business, recruit. Recruiting is the answer, right? Right. The answer to is, is always build a new team, recruit more people, right? You don't have time to wait on the next person to decide they want to be rich. For you to then hit the next rank. It's not how this works. It's called IBO, independent business owner, right? So your, your back office is a result, right? Of what what is, is a direct reflection of what you're doing every single day. What are you doing every single day to build your business? Do, are you waiting for an upline to call you? Are you waiting for an upline to send a video? Are you waiting for an upline to do this? Because that sounds like a like a dependent business owner, not an independent business owner, right? You always want to be that battery within your own organization, right? Recruiting is always the answer. Number two, be a better leader. That's the answer to a lot of problems or a lot of uh, obstacles in, in, the, in the networking field, right? Just be a better leader. The business looks the way it does because of your capabilities as a leader. You can, you can say the government stopped you know, funding people. You can say coronavirus right you, can, you know covid you can say uh just immature people you can whatever but it always comes down to a big fraction a big percentage of the reason your back office looks the way it does is because of your capabilities as a leader your back office looks the way it does because of your level of leadership your back office does jumps retracements loop-de-loops because of your level 
of leadership, right? The leader is the highest paid profession in the world. So a couple of things you need to do as a leader, right? Number one, fill your cup. Fill your cup. I want you to study the five levels of leadership. Go on YouTube if you don't like reading. If you're more of an audio person, go on YouTube. If you're a reader, grab the book, Five Levels of Leadership. How to win friends and gain influence. Go to YouTube if you like audios. If you're more of a reader, grab the book, right? Some of, put a seven in the chat if you've heard these books before. Five Levels of Leadership and How to Win Friends and Gain Influence. If you've heard of these books, just drop a seven, just so I know who I'm talking to. If you've heard of these books, drop a seven. Okay, cool. Some of us have heard of these books before, right? Some of you guys have heard of the levels before, but still don't understand why people on your team are not coachable to you. The book explains why. Certain people on your team only listen when your upline speaks and not you, and the answer is in that book. The answer is also in how to win friends and gain influence. The answer to a lot of the problems we deal with are not like a difficult answer or a complex answer. Nine times out of 10, we've already been given the solution before the answer, before the problem, before the, the obstacle ever presented itself. We had the solution. I want you to write that down. You already had the solution, right? Before the problem ever presented itself. Someone said good Nike T. Yep, thank you, thank you. The certified, certified lover boy Nike T. I need a check from Nike. <laughs> uh, so like I said, uh, we, we have the answers to the problems before they actually become our problems. Right? I want you to study Jim Rohn building a network marketing business on YouTube. It's a few hours long, right? Jim Rohn building a network marketing business on YouTube. Any obstacle you, will, you have ever dealt with and will ever dealt with will be answered by those three things I just said. Five levels of leadership, how to win friends and gain influence, and Jim Rohn building a network marketing business on YouTube. In order to be a chairman and have a team of 500 plus, you need a specific set of leadership skills. You need to focus on a specific set of leadership skills, right? You can get to chairman without these skills, but you will not keep chairman without these skills. Now, do you want to be chairman for a month or do you want to be chairman forever? Right? You want to be chairman 100 for a month, you want to be chairman 100 forever. You want to be chairman 750 for a month, you want to be chairman 750 forever. Right? You got to be a better leader. Right? You got to be a better leader. Right? If you're not the rank you want to be, it falls largely on how well you can lead the group you have now. It's going to sting a little bit, right? It's going to sting. What I'm saying is going to sting a little bit, but it's meant, if it stings, it's good. It's meant to disinfect you. Right? You got to be a better leader got to be a better leader, right? If you're not the rank you want to be, it falls largely on how well you can lead the group you got now. In order to be chairman and have a team of 500 people, you need a specific set of leadership skills. At the top of that list is problem solver. The top of that list is problem solver. So you get paid in direct proportion to the size of the problem you can fix. Right? You didn't have to hop on the Zoom call to know that. You probably heard that already. You get paid in direct proportion to the size of the problem you can fix. Okay, now let's, let's make it practical. If someone in your, in your organization goes from P6 to zero, can you fix that? Can you tell them exactly where they dropped the ball? Can you give them a game plan exactly how to get all 12 people back in a quick fashion? That's a problem that you will have to face as a chairman. That's a problem you will have to face as chairman 25, 50, 100 right? You have to be able to solve that problem. If somebody isn't experiencing momentum, if somebody has leaders that don't listen, if somebody is feeling discouraged because uh, their, 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 their mom or their family doesn't believe in them, can you tell them exactly what they need to hear to fix that problem? I'm going to give you a scenario. You're a chairman 250, right? You have a chairman 100 in a leg, at the top of a leg, and they come to you and they say, I'm feeling discouraged. I don't really know if I want to build any business. Not just this. I don't know if I want to even leave my house. Do you know where to start that conversation next? Do you know how to reply to that conversation? Are you emotionally intelligent enough to have that conversation? Are you a problem solver? Right? 
Emotional Intelligence 2.0. That's another uh, text or or YouTube video. It's a, it's a book. Um, it's a book. You can you can hear the audio on YouTube for free, or you could get the book. Whatever. Emotional Intelligence 2.0. You need that book. A lot of you need that book. That's one thing I can say in my in my years of network market of networking. In my years of networking, that book is so undervalued. It, it's it's crazy. I value that book more than a how to prospect video. I value that book more than how to present. I value emotional intelligence over almost everything that I said to just now. I value that over almost everything. Without emotional intelligence, you cannot run this business effectively. You cannot run in business, period, effectively, right? Emotional intelligence, look that up. <clears throat> The second skill, right? Is, yeah, emotional intelligence 2.0 was the name, yeah. The second skill, reliable. Are you reliable? Really a quality, not really a skill, but it's a, it's, a, it's a quality. Are you reliable? You need to know everything about your business. Payment questions, you need to have the answer. Billing questions, you need to have the answer. Hey, why does it say negative volume in my back office? You need to have every possible answer everything company-wide promotions you need to know that you need to know that we extended the, the dcx package promo you need to know that yes they did right back office questions you need to know that support questions you need to know that where do i get this where do i get that you need to know it or you need to know exactly where to where you can go to get the answer right if you're not reliable right what are we doing Right? You never stop being a leader. Right, You're always, 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 always being a leader. Think about it. When you were younger, anything that ever went wrong or anything that went even a little bit wrong, who'd you go to? Your mom, how do I do this? Mom, where's the remote? Mom, what time we cook? We eating? Mom, what are we doing for, for Thanksgiving? Mom, what are we doing for Christmas? Why did you always go to mom? Because she was reliable. She had the answer. And then here you go. You grew up with someone who was reliable. Now look at you. Yeah. Now look at you. Now, what do you think happens when your, your, your entire organization has that mom or that dad or that, that leader or that role that's super reliable, that always has the answers? They feel more comfortable and confident bringing people over to the business. The same way you felt more comfortable and confident knowing someone reliable was in the house, you would say, hey, come to my house. Yeah, well, yeah, just come out. My, mom, my mom's cooking, for sure. You didn't even have to talk to her. You knew she was cooking. You knew it because she's reliable. Same way with this business. Prospects, you don't, you don't even have to talk to your leaders. They know you're reliable. Hey, yeah, come to my business. My leader is going to be doing a call tonight. They don't have to talk to you. They know you're doing the call. They don't have to second guess it. They know you're doing a call because you're reliable. Are you reliable? Are you as reliable as your mom? Are you as reliable as your dad, your grandma, whoever it is that, that raised you or whatever figure that was reliable in your, in your life early on? Are you as reliable as them? Now, ways to develop culture and keep momentum. A couple of topics, so I'm going to blitz through them. Sorry, guys. Ways to develop culture and keep momentum. Appreciation and recognition. That's the answer. You want a great culture, appreciation and recognition. When somebody pops a rank, when somebody wins their first trade, when somebody gets done with the academy, you need to throw a party in the group chats, in the group chat, in the group chats. Don't get crazy. In the group chats, you need to throw a party. You need to recognize them, right? You need to shout them out in a big group chat, shout them out on your Instagram story, right? These are just examples. You need to celebrate everything because you, I'll tell you right now, outside of this business and take away your birthday, when was the last time you got celebrated for doing something good? Celebrated. I'll wait. I'll wait. Outside of this business and your birthday, maybe. When was the last time you got celebrated for something good you did? This is why so many people love this, this, this industry, and not just this company. We're in the best company in the world, I Am Mastery Academy. 
But this is why people love this business or this industry is because you get celebrated for doing what you got to do. You get celebrated for being a good person. You get celebrated for smashing your goals. Think about it. When you came home today, how many people told you, hi, how are you doing? In your house, in your home, you might pay the bills. Who said hi to you today? Are you hungry? Did you eat? When you go to an event, people celebrate you. They call you your Instagram name. Like you're a rapper, like you're a celebrity. Regardless of what rank you are, regardless of what rank you are, I've, I've seen it. Like I've seen it. I see it every, every time I go to an event. You get celebrated here. That's culture. That, that's a culture. You ever seen, I'm, I'm, I want you to be, guys, be, be, be vulnerable, be transparent here. You ever been in, in a elementary school and you see one kid interacting with their parents? You're like, damn, their house is probably big. They, their parents might be better because they pick them up from school every time. Or they, they slice the, they take the crust off his bread or they slice her bread in half or cool in triangles. People look at that. That's how people look at your teams when you have the right culture. That's how prospects look at your team. Like, wait, you, oh, it, that looks fun. That looks like they're having fun. That looks like a great environment. They look like it's, it's laid out on that side. Hey, what's that? You sure that's Forex? That looks like a, a dope party. That looks crazy. The events that we have where everyone's celebrating all the success that's happening within this industry, within this company, prospects literally message you on your Instagram, your, your Facebook, your Twitter, whatever, wherever you post in this, prospects will message you and say, yo, that looks fun. That's a, that looks like a concert. Who's on stage? Oh, nobody. Just somebody who's one of the top five earners in the world in this, in this profession. Oh, nobody. Somebody richer than your favorite rapper. Yeah, just, you know. Hey, by the way, sitting next to me around those ropes, yeah, all those people make more money than your favorite rappers and impact more people than your favorite rappers, right? It's a culture of appreciation and recognition, right? That's all it is, a culture of appreciation and recognition. We're going to move forward, right? I don't want to take too long. Relationships. Relationships, relationships, relationships. Right. This is how you go deeper and deeper within the five levels of leadership. Right. And you, I want you to understand you're on a different level with everybody. You're on a different level with different people. You may you may be at a level two with one of your leaders. You may be level one with your top leader. You may be at only level one. With someone who, who you've known your whole life, who just joined the business, just hit P150, you may be at level four. But with your top leader who, who just hit P2000, P5, P chairman even, you may be at level one. I want you to understand, just because you, you have the, the title of upline does not mean you're the alpha omega of the team. Doesn't mean you're the alpha omega in everybody's life. Every single person on this call in the world is a leader in one, in one you know, facet or another. In one way or another, you're a leader, whether it's leader of the church, leader of your family, leader of this business, leader of another business, leader of anything. You are a leader. You are a leader, right? So the word upline, the word chair, just because you hit, when you hit chairman, you're going you're gonna to realize when you hit chairman, just because you're chairman, there's certain, only certain people respect that title. And that's level one leadership. You're, not everyone is supposed to just bow down to you because your back office is blue. It's not how this works, right? It's not how the world works. Relationships is how you go deep. This is how you go deeper and deeper in the different levels of leadership, right? You build relationships within your organization. Build relationships in your organization. You never always talk about the business. Here's a key in building relationships. You never always talk about the business. Remember, keep in mind, this was a P2000 plus training. So if you're at the P150 level, you might always, that might be all you got to do right now. Just talk about the business, right? But this is a little deeper. Never always talk about the business. That's a little boring. I don't always want to talk about pips and charts. It's not always what I want to do. I love pips and charts. They made me some of the most money I've ever made in my life, right? They've impacted my family, make sure my family is great right now. But I don't always want to talk about that 100% of the time. Talk to me about you. What did you do yesterday? 
What do you like to do, right? Your leaders, I'm gonna tell you a little secret. Your leaders will run harder for you when they know you care about them. I'll say it again, because if you get nothing from this call, I want you to get this. Your leaders will run harder for you when they know you care about them, when they actually like you. And you can't fake this either. You can't just pretend to be a good person. You can't pretend to be down for somebody. That's People can smell fakeness from a mile away. Be authentically you. You don't got to be anybody else but you. But be you. I want you to be you. And this is the most cliche. It's so funny because when we watch cartoons when we're little, or we watch these Disney movies when we're little or whatever, Pocahontas, all this other stuff, they always tell you the same stuff. Be you. Don't care about being judged. Da -da -da. And when, when, you're, when you're younger, you're like, all right, whatever. And when you want to make more money, you're like, okay, what I got to do? And then these millionaires tell you the same things that Disney Channel was telling you, that Nickelodeon was telling you your whole life. Be you, be yourself. You don't got to pretend to be nobody else. And that's literally, because think about it. Every single chairman that you'd like, they're all different. No one tries to be like the other one, not a single person. They're all 100% different. The proof is in the pudding, right? So your leaders run harder for you when they know you care about them, when they actually like you, right? And a lot of times, I'm going to tell you right now, because it's super important. A lot of times that right there, whether they like you or not, that's the deciding factor on whether or not they pay the membership. When they've been struggling, they're losing belief in themselves, their relationship with you or with someone on the team is the deciding factor on whether or not they pay the membership, whether or not they make it to the P1K uh, leadership boot camp, whether or not they make it to the to P600 plus leadership summit that we have in a couple of weeks, right? That right there is the deciding factor a lot of the times, right? When they actually like you, if they actually like you. They'll say, nah, I can't let my leader down. I can't let my friend down. That's my accountability partner. What's my friend gonna say when they hear I quit on them? I quit on myself. I quit on my dreams. That's why it's important to build relationships within your organization. Talk to your leaders. Now, I'm not saying be on the phone for five hours every night talking about, yo, did you see this on Instagram? Yo, did you see this on Love and Hip Hop, Miami, whatever they're doing now? I'm not saying to do that, right? Talking about nothing. But you should at least know if your leaders have, your leaders, not just your IBO, you should know if your leaders have siblings. You should know where they grew up. You should know why they joined the business. You should know what they thought when they first signed up. Right? What they like to do when they're not building the business. Right? If they went, you know, on a little, if they went outside recently, you know, whatever. Right? Build relationships, right? You can't, if you can't answer at least two of those questions, right? If you can't answer at least two of those questions for your top five leaders, then you got some work to do when it comes to building relationships. You can't only talk to one, two people on your team and just expect to be chairman. That's not how this works. You don't have 500 workers. These are not 500 employees of yours. These are 500 families. These are 500 people who are leaders in their own right, right? So moving forward, when your business is stable, when the numbers in the back office have been the same for a week, where you, you could have sworn new people are getting added, right? Yo, I just added three people, but the numbers are, you know, that means your business is stable. What's happening, this is the best way I can explain it, is what I love. This is what we're, what we're leaving. This is the stage we're actually leaving right now. Your business is cleaning itself. It's cleaning itself. New people are being added. The old dead weight is dropping. That's fine. New people are being added. The old dead weight is dropping. And that's fine. That's good. This is the time for you to capitalize. You need to find the holes in your business and plug them up really, really fast. Find out who's not launching correctly. Find out who's not recruiting. And find out, and this is the most important thing, find out who's in that gray area. Write that down, please. Who is in the gray area? Because every single person who's ever signed up to any networking company ever has been in this gray area. What is the gray area, Ty? 
They're doing mediocre to okay in the business, but you know they can be doing way better. They're not all in with the business. And there must be a reason why, because I know what it looks like when you're all in, right? They may have personal things stopping them. They may not be posting on Instagram about the business as much as they used to, right? You get to find out why they aren't confident in the business anymore, right? Why they aren't confident in themselves anymore. Someone asked a good question. What does all in look like? That's different for that. I'll, I'll answer that question at the end. But that looks very different to a bunch of different people. I'll give you my answer at the end. When you find out why are they not confident in themselves, in the business, in whatever, what's causing them to move the way they're moving, right? Why are they in that gray area? What they don't understand yet about the business. These are things you need to find out while that person is in the gray area, right? You only get through that, you only get through to that person and you only get the answers to these questions by building a relationship, right? If a random stranger says, hey, is everything okay? You're gonna be like, yeah, okay, I'm good. But if your best friend says to you, is everything okay? You think a lot different. You come up with a bunch of different answers or replies other than, yeah, I'm okay. If a random stranger says, hey, how you doing? And it's so crazy, it's kind of a rhetorical question when you meet someone. Hey, how you doing, how are you? Everybody says, I'm good. Are, are we really good though? You answer that question different when your friend asks you the question. Maybe, maybe when your mom asks you the question, your dad asks you, your brother, your, your cousin, whatever it is. But you get the answers to the questions, right? Through building a relationship, right? Through building a relationship. And I want you to understand, I'm not saying to call everybody every hour of, of every day and try to try to make try to force a relationship right there's only so many times you can reach out to somebody before you have to decide okay cool this person is maybe this person just isn't ready for this business maybe this person just isn't ready maybe this isn't the right stage in their life for this business and that's a, a little bit of a deeper training right but you, you get through to that person through by building a relationship and i want you to, to, to understand this because what i'm about to get into is extremely important and it's why you see so you see you'll see a chunk of people leave other teams for this reason why right, right here don't become somebody's coworker, right do not become somebody's coworker. become somebody's brother or sister become somebody's friend become somebody's auntie rich auntie or rich uncle but you don't want to be the coworker. you never want to be the coworker. I want you to name five coworkers you've ever had in your life. Exactly. You don't even care enough to remember those names. You would have to try to write down, if you've worked multiple jobs, you would have to try to write down five names. You have to really, really try. Really, really you would have to go th through your Snapchat from 2017, 2016 to find the names of coworkers. Really, you never want to be somebody's coworker. You want to be somebody's best friend, somebody's friend, brother, sister, uncle, family, right? Family. I want you, I want you to answer this question in your head. How do you think your team feels when you text them? When they see your name pop up on the top of that iPhone, how do you think they feel? What feelings come to come to come to come to, to their heart, right? Or when they see your name on a Zoom call, when they see your name in the chat, what do you think your team feels when they see your name, right? If you're a coworker, nobody's in a rush to reply to that text message. I promise you, if you text your team and you fall in the coworker category, your team's not in a rush to get on the call. Your team's not in a rush to, to promote for an event. Your team's not in a rush to do anything because you're the coworker. For anybody who's ever worked a job, when your coworker texts you, you're not, you're not replying to that. You're not in a rush to reply anyway. You're going to read it, but you're not going to, you're not going to, because they're probably trying to give you a shift or try to be weird or try to be cool with you. Like, oh, bro, I'm here to work and leave. You're trying to be my friend. I'm not really, you're, stop, right? You know, you never want to be the coworker. You want to be the brother, sister, aunt, uncle, family. You want to be the family. So when your best friend texts you though, I don't care if you have a thousand text messages, you reply to your best friend first. 
If you got a thousand text messages and then you see a, a missed call and it's your best friend, you're calling your friend back before you even look at the rest of the messages. That's how you want your team to treat you. That's how you want your team to, to look at you as the friend. Oh man, yo Mustafa called me. Yo, what's good, bro? What's going on? Yeah, I was just, I was just here. I'm, I'm replying to the rest of my text, but I called my friend first. You get what I'm saying? You, you build relationships, right? You build relationships. You build relationships. How do your leaders feel when your name pops up at the top of their phone? It's very important. It's very important. Build relationship with your leaders, right? I'm going to be honest, right? Uh, who you talk to will dictate your energy. It'll dictate your pace in the business, two different things. It'll dictate what you say on calls, what you say to your friends and family. And I say that to say this, if you only talk to people who only want to do one side of the business, there's trading and there's building the business, right? If you talk to, if the majority of people you talk to only want to do one part of the business, that's going to affect your results in the business. Sorry to say if you talk to people who only want to build the business, it's going to affect your trading. If you talk to people who only want to trade, it's going to affect you building the business. If you talk to individuals who want, who are, want to do both, you will do both effectively, right? And I'm just being 1,000% transparent. There's nothing wrong with doing one or the other. There's nothing wrong with doing both. But you have to be told the truth. You have to be told the truth, right? Let me, let me move forward. Before some people get on IG and they talk about how you gotta you, you become the five people you talk to the most, right? You you become the five people you talk to the most. If people took their own advice on Instagram, they'd be a lot more successful people in the world. If people started to like live the things that's in their comment in their captions, they'd be better off, right? Do you sometimes we gotta take our own advice as it pertains to who we talk to, as it pertains to our, our finances as it pertains to health, social um, status, everything, right? Take your own advice sometimes. Take your own advice, especially when it comes to this business. As a leader, you want to trust your gut feeling. As a leader, you want to trust your gut feeling. Always seek advice, always seek mentorship, right? Always, uh, uh, you know, talk to your coach and things like that. But at the same time, trust your gut, right? So look, let's go forward. Let's move forward, let's move forward, let's move forward, right? More things you'll need to know on your run to chairman. Can you see how much time I got? Okay, I got time. More things you need to know on your road to chairman. Promotion, promote like a professional, right? Your team needs to know when there's a webinar. Your team needs to know all incentives going on. Your team needs to know this, these things. Incentives can be the deciding factor for somebody. When Christopher Terry went on stage, and he announced the promo, the, the first place for the most of Romans gets like 100,000 in, in Bitcoin, second place gets 50,000, third place gets 25,000. That right there made a lot more people, made a lot more people within the business start to build the business, start to tell a friend. Now, what do you think would happen if nobody in your team knew that happened? I know some of you guys are feeling a little sick right now because that might be your, that might be your organization. How many people in your organization knew about that? Right? How many people in your, in your organization, wait, you mean if I enroll it, just enroll a bunch of people, I can get $100,000 in Bitcoin? Oh, that's it? That's all I got to do? Okay, let's do it then. Right? So a lot of times incentives is the deciding factor for somebody. They can be almost ready to quit. Literally. But because somebody that, because somebody that makes 20K a year Nothing wrong with making this much, but because someone who makes 20K a year, yo, Forex and crypto is fake. No, nobody makes money doing that. They could be almost ready to quit, but there's an incentive where they can get 100K in Bitcoin. All I got to do is enroll a bunch of people. Okay, let's go for it. On a bad day, I get 25K. Oh, okay, yeah, let's go for it. That could be the deciding factor. That incentive that you haven't told your team about was that ray, at, was that ray of light at the end of the tunnel. That light at the end of the tunnel that would have motivated them to not quit. So promotion, promotion, promotion. Speak about all active incentives at the end of every Zoom. Every single Zoom, speak about it. Hey, by the way, guys, before you guys get off this call, 
We have this, this. Remember, we have this, this, this going on, right? You want the most P600s at this P600 summit? Hey, guys, by the way, I'll see you guys at the P600 summit. Very simple, right? It's very, very simple. Promotion is very, very simple to do. It's very simple not to do. Putting a text message in a group chat is not promoting. I just want to let that be known. Something in my soul just told me to say that. Putting a text message in a group chat is not promoting. Uh, posting a flyer on Instagram is not promoting. That's announcing. You're announcing something, but you're not promoting it. You're announcing it, but you're not promoting it. Promoting is hitting the phones. Yo, bro, by the way, this is going on. You going? No? Okay, good. Perfect. You are going. Yeah, I'll see you there. Bye. Click. Hey, this is going on. Oh, you're going to be on the call? All right, screenshot. When you get on, screenshot it, and then... um. That's it. I'll send, I'll send you uh, $10 of Bitcoin. Boom. All right, yo, bro, you're going to be on the call? Okay, cool. You better be on the call. Yo, bro, and then your, your team is going to get in, in, a, in a habit of understanding, okay, this person grinds. Oh, this person's calling me? Okay, cool. I know it's for, is, I know it's for some work. I know it's for, to, for some, some success. I know it's for some progress in my business. Right? Does that make sense? So promotion, promotion, promotion right? Speak about the next Zoom call that they should be on. What's the next Zoom call you should be on? You as a leader need to know that. You need, a, and then that goes back to the beginning. We talked about reliability, right? Literally, literally. The last call I did, I announced the very next call, right? Tomorrow is day five. What's tomorrow? Put in the chat. What's tomorrow? I kind of already said it, but what's tomorrow? What's tomorrow at eight o'clock? Let's see if we got leaders in, in the chat. We do have a trial. We do have a trial. We do have the trial. Five day new student training. Exactly. Day five of the new student training. I kind of already said it too. I, I already said it. The biz, exactly, Alex, the business loan. You need to know that. You need to know that. Eight o'clock is a business launch. Business launch. You need to know that. 9 p.m. out call. You need to know that. That's what a leader does. That's what a leader does, right? Your team isn't where you want it to be because, and, and we'll go back to relationships and promotion. Promotion doesn't just mean letting somebody know something. Promotion just mean, means progress, getting something through, right? Sometimes you need to promote your, your socially and within the business, you need to promote your leaders to the same position you are and then even further, sometimes you need to introduce your leaders to the same chairman that you know. Introduce your leaders to the same chairman that you, if you're, if you know a chairman, introduce them to a quality leader, not your boy, not your best friend, but a quality leader. Introduce them, promote them, put them up here with you. Maybe something, it's something, I see this all the time where certain people treat this like a cool kids club, like it's just cool to say, you know, a chairman, like you didn't pay. Guys, you didn't pay 325, right? Elite package. You should have the elite package. If you're a leader, you should have the elite package. You didn't pay 325 to be somebody's friend. Right? Or to say you're cool with these, you I know them, you know, we're cool. You had to pay 325 to say that? Like you didn't, right? So it's not about making friends, right? It's not about necessarily make, you didn't sign up to make friends. You signed up to get a job done. You signed up to put other people in position. So put your people in position. Sometimes, look guys, your team may not be where you want it to be because you may find it more important that you're cool with chairman and your team is not cool with chairman. You may find it more important that you know information and your other, and the rest of your team doesn't know information. Right, you make sure you're on every call, but you don't make sure your team is on every call. Right, guys, remember, and, and you hear it in, in some songs. They say it's lonely at the top. No, leaders never say that. Leaders never say that. How can you be a leader of men and then say it's lonely wherever you're at? Who are you leading? Right, you're not leading nobody. You walk taking a long walk by yourself. If you're at the top by yourself. If you're a leader, you bring people with you. You can't, you can't just be, oh, I know all the chairmen. So? Facts, bro. Put it on your resume. Put it on your tombstone. Right? I knew all the chairmen. That doesn't matter. When you promote, you promote not just yourself. You're promoting your team. Nothing looks more official than you pulling up to an event 
with your chairman. Not you with, an, with another chairman, 250 and 100. It's, nothing looks more beautiful than you coming to an event, standing with your chairman. Your chairman, right? Make sure you have relationships with chairman and make sure your team has relationships with chairman. What rank would you be if three of your legs were getting personal mentorship by chairman 10 and above? Think about it, right? Think about it. Think about it. A lot of you guys are in a position where you have multiple chairmen within your lineage. Use that to your advantage. Don't just say, yeah, you know, I'm in Jen's organization. Okay, cool. Like, get to know Jen. Yeah, you know, I'm in Rob's organization. I'm in Tia's organization. Okay, cool. When's the last time you spoke to Tia? You, you, when's the last time you spoke to Ness? When's the last time you spoke to Champs or Joey? Like, when was the last time? You have... Guys, I'm telling you right now, I'm telling you because I see it, there's individuals on teams that will pay you to have your chairman's number and you have their number. There's individuals on other teams who will pay you cash, Bitcoin, cash app, whatever you want for your chairman's numbers and you don't use them, why? I don't get it. I really don't get it. I'm not saying everybody, but certain people, I want to be chairman. You have chairman right here. Talk to them. That's like saying, I want to be a brolic. I want to be 250. I want to be 210, you know, brolic. And I know The Rock. I know uh, uh, everybody. I know, you know, LeBron James. I know, you know how great, the same way, and I'm going to tell you right now, this is, this is the perfect example before I get to the, the last part of this training. When you see people on the, on, the, on the block or on the street just hanging out and they have stories, yeah, I could have went to the league, you know. Yeah, you know, I used to know Jay-Z. You know, I used to party with, uh, you know, I used to party with them. And then you look at them like, why are you here then? So why are you here? That's how you should look at yourself in the mirror. Every time you scroll through your contacts or you scroll through your text messages or you scroll through your group chats and there's chairman all there. Because what's going to happen is, what's going to happen is five years from now, 10 years from now, when these same people own blocks and buildings, play real life Monopoly, right? Real, not just the game. They, your chairman is going to be playing real life Monopoly. They're not, they're, they're going to put hotels on blocks. They're going to put hotels on property. You don't want to be the one that says, oh yeah, I know that person. Yeah, we used to do Zooms and stuff. You don't want to be that person, right? So don't let that happen. Be proactive. Do not let that happen. Do not let that happen. All right, so last bit of information. 15 minutes left. Okay, what is a leader? What is a leader? Leaders are those who take action. I'm gonna say a lot right now. So leaders are those who take action. They're in activity mode all of the time. When the business is doing good, when your business is doing bad, when your business is stable, Business is upside down, left, right, loop-de-loop, -loop, doesn't matter. A leader is always moving, right? They have a strong belief system. They're consistent with their activity. They are committed. They have an attitude of commitment. Commitment is a feeling. I hope you guys understand that. Commitment is not just an action. It's a feeling. It is a feeling, right? It is a feeling. It is a feeling. It is a feeling. Things happen. Things happen. You may fall off the wagon. You may, ah, you know, I don't know about this business. These things happen. But recommit, like now. Recommit, stay consistent now, right? A leader is somebody who's disciplined, right? You, you can only control two things, your attitude and your activity. Only two things you can control. If you spend time worrying about other things that you cannot control, you're wasting your time. You're wasting your team's time. Right. If you spend time feeling, worrying about, that's why I don't spend two seconds worrying about things that I cannot control. I cannot control it. So I'm gonna let it do what it do because it would have done what it what it's gonna do anyway. So go ahead, do it. Do you do what you gotta do? I have lives to change. I have people to enroll. I have ranks to hit. I have I have people to to feed. Right. Only two things you can control. <clears throat> Leaders are excited all the time and highly focused. And as I go through this, I want you to grade yourself on a scale of one to 10. What is your level of commitment to the business, really? Don't put it a 10 if you spent 10 hours you know, on Netflix today. 
Don't put a 10. What is your real level of commitment to the business? What is your level of consistency? Do you prospect 50 people every day or just some days or one days or no days, right? What is your level of consistency, right? When you start to develop these characteristics, guys, you, you will attract the people that have these characteristics, right? Leaders are constantly giving time, not just money, time, inspiration, belief, encouragement, solutions. Leaders are constantly giving, right? Leaders have a, a crazy ability to edify, paint a vision. Le a leader is somebody who stays inspired. And let's break down the word inspired. The first two letters is in, inspired. What are you putting in your mind? What are you listening to? That's how you stay inspired. What are you putting in your mind? That's why it's so important who you, when someone has a problem in the business, it could be anything or a problem in, in life period. The first question I ask, open up your call log and who, who do you talk to the most? I don't care if you had a problem with this person, that person, that business, this business, anything, anything in the world, open up your call log, who you talk to. Because I can tell you exactly how to fix it. I can tell you exactly how to fix your problem. But if you're talking to the wrong people, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what I tell you. Chances are, you've already been told how to be a chairman. Not chances are, you, I have 100% of every single person on this call, 100% of you guys have already been told how to be a chairman. The problem is when, the, when, we, when you close this laptop, when you end the call on Zoom on your phone, who are you talking to? Whoever you're talking to is undoing all the good learning that, that you're doing right now. Whoever you're talking to is undoing all the good time that you put in. Right. So stay inspired by talking to the right people, listening to the right information, how to develop leaders. Right. We don't have too much time. How to develop leaders, build relationships. Find out who's serious, who's serious. Fill their cup and make sure they're filling their own cup as well. All right. Push them into leadership roles. It can start with something very simple. Hey, you know, uh, I got a call coming up. Hey, edify me for edify me on this call for like five minutes, for two minutes. Edify me real quickly. And eventually, yeah, go on the team call. Eventually, that two minutes turns into five, turns into 10, turns into 20, right? Talk about something you learned. They're going to, they're going to, leaders have an uncanny like uh, ability where it, it, when they're put in certain roles, it just comes out. Your leadership, your lying, your inner leader. It just comes out and nobody has to teach you. Nobody has to tell you anything. It's already, it's been there the entire time, right? It's been there the entire time. Make sure uh, your up and coming leaders understand the business on your level and make sure they understand the business on a chairman level. Let me say that again, make how to develop leaders. Make sure your, 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 your leaders, your IBOs, I should say, understand the business on your level and they understand the business on a chairman level. That's what I meant by, if you know a chairman, bring your top quality leaders into, the, into that conversation, bring them into that circle too. Literally bring them into that circle too. You do all of this and it's very hard to go wrong. Again, the only thing that can mess this up is after the Zoom's call, after the Zoom's close, after you get out the phone with your mentors, after you're done posting that flyer on Instagram, who are you really talking to? What are you spending your time on, right? Right, these, these are the leadership skills that you need to push through the ranks, to push through uh, uh, the obstacles, to push through the trials and tribulations, things like that, right? So again, we, we just went over the 90-day the 90, day, the 90 day run, right? We just went over that a couple of days ago. Over the next 90 days, I want you to focus on your action, focus on your discipline, focus on your excitement, right? Focus, right? Look for ways to give. Look for ways to give service. Stop looking for ways to take. Start looking for ways to give, right? Stop looking for ways to take. Start looking for ways to give. I'm giving constantly, 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 constantly. And I never complain. You never hear me complain about it because I'm not complaining. I do it because I want to do it, right? You do it because you want to do it. And Drake said in the song, he said, I got all these blessings just to give it away. 
I got all these blessings just to give it away, literally. So um, that's going to be it for today's leadership masterclass. Going to re 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 uh, recap everything. Never stop recruiting. Always become a bigger, uh, a better leader. Five levels of leadership. How to win friends and gain influence. Uh, Jim Rohn, building a network marketing business. Emotional intelligence. Without emotional intelligence, it's going to be impossible to get through life happy. Not just the ranks. To get through life happy without that, right? Without emotional intelligence, right? Be a problem solver. Be reliable. Appreciation and recognition, right? Dive deeper in the levels of leadership by building relationships. Show your team you actually care about them. Right. If you do not care about your team, it's going to be a tough business for you to build. Very, very tough. Very, very tough. Find out who is in that gray area. Who are the sharks, the lions who can blow this up, who are better than you? To, to, if you really want to smash these ranks, this is, this is a secret that um, um, Austin Gossi told me. He said, find two people who are better than you. And that's how you go Chairman 250. That was it. Find two people who are better than you. That's it. Humbly better than you and put them in position. Make them the superstar. Then help them find two people better than them. Is that simple? It's literally that simple, right? So push your people in position. Push your, 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 your IBOs in position. Um, don't become the coworker. Become the family member. Become the friend. Not so close where, you know, people won't listen, but close enough where people will listen. Close enough where people will listen, right? Close enough where people will listen, but far, far enough where you won't be mistaken for a, uh, just another friend, right? Just another friend. Promotion, promotion, promotion. Incentives, positioning in the, in the business, right? In terms of socially, like relationships. We went over your relationships with chairman. You need to have relationships with chairman. Uh, your team needs to have relationships with chairman. Again, quality people. You don't just, hey, I just enrolled. I need to talk to the chairman 750 now. It's not how this works. It's not how this works. You don't get hired at Apple, and then you talk to the CEO. That's not how that works, right? Everything is earned. Community is free, but proximity to leadership is earned. Community is free. Proximity to leadership is earned. Um, what is a leader? We went over all that. Discipline, consistent, committed, strong belief system, always in action mode. Uh, we went over focused, highly focused, grade yourselves on these things, right? What is your level of commitment? What is your level of consistency? Uh, when you start to develop these characteristics, you attract people with these characteristics, right? Build relationships, find out who's serious, fill their cup, have them fill, have them fill their cup on their own as well, and make sure they understand the business on a chairman level. So with that being said, guys, I appreciate you guys. I'm gonna let you guys enjoy your night. It's a little late right now, but um, have a beautiful, beautiful night. And I will see you guys tomorrow for the last day, right? 8 p.m., day five of the five-day training week. I appreciate you guys um, and have a blessed night.